All right, welcome back. We're going to continue looking at solving rational uh, equations. We're kind of ramping up some of the um, expectations here from these equations. Okay, we started out with some ones that we could solve um, using skills that we learned in previous classes, right? And then we got to a little more tricky stuff with cross multiplying, maybe, or finding a common denominator. And here, number four, well, again, similar kind of situation. All right, so what we're going to do here is, again, look at our um, problem. Okay, we can see here that um, we have two different denominators here that we're trying to add, fractions of the different denominators that we're trying to add, and then this one also has a different denominator even further. What's helpful before we go and try and like proceed from here is to maybe see what a squared minus four factors to be, right? This does factor. So we're gonna rewrite this as one over a plus two I'll rewrite, I'll put a little arrow, um, plus one over a minus two equals four over, and then a squared minus four, that's a difference of squares, right? It's a squared plus zero a minus four. And so this would factor to a minus two and a plus two. Okay, and so we can see that actually these have a little more in common than we thought. If we look at all the denominators here, this denominator has both this and this in it. So in other words, this denominator isn't really missing anything, right? It's got both of them. However, what is this denominator missing? What factor is it missing? It doesn't have the a plus two. So what we'll do is, let's see if I can get this to work here. All right, that'll work right now. I can just do like this, this. So what we'll do is we'll multiply the top and bottom here by an a plus two over an a plus two. And then likewise here, what is this denominator missing? It's missing the a minus two, so we will multiply it. Try this again. Okay, we'll get that right there. And I'll lasso this, and then move that over. So we'll multiply here, oops, I'll use the blue two. Um, a minus two over a minus two. Okay, now, it's not necessary to multiply these denominators out. You can leave them factored, but we will need to multiply this out. So the one will distribute, which this is gonna be a minus two again. Okay, plus, and distribute the one here as well, but again, it's just gonna be a plus two. And we'll have again the a minus two times a plus two. And then we have the four. Okay. Part of the difficulty of these problems is the tedium, the tediousness of just rewriting all those denominators over and over and over again. But now we can kind of get some more work done here. So um, since we now have common denominators, we can go ahead and add these two fractions together. And so that's just going to add these two numerators. So the a plus the a is going to make a 2a. And the minus 2 plus the 2, well, they'll cancel out. So we'll just have 2a over a minus 2 times a plus two equals four over a minus two times a plus two, oops. Now we can multiply both sides by the denominator and that'll cancel that out and cancel that out and we're left with two a equals four. Wow, and now what do we do? Divide both sides by two and we get a is two. Okay. You want to be careful here, though, because sometimes we want to check our answers, right? It doesn't say to check our answers, but we really need to here because a equals 2, right, that works. But if I plug a equal to 2 back into my original equation here, 2 plus 2 is going to be 4. That's not a problem. But here, what's going to, be, what's going to happen when I plug 2 in for a? It's going to be 2 minus 2 or 0. We're going to have 1 over 0, which is a no-no, right? We never divide by 0. It's undefined. So then what about this solution here? What do we say? We say that it's not a solution. And so in other words, there is no solution here because that was the only answer that potentially worked. So all that work and analysis just come up with the answer that there is no solution. But that's important to know. All right, let's take a look at number five <clears throat> and then we'll stop for this video. Solve the following equation. Remember to check for extraneous solutions. And that is exactly what we just did up here. No solution because this was an extraneous solution. 
it doesn't work in the original equation because it makes it undefined. All right, so looking here, right, again, common denominators. So we can see that um, there's a little bit of work in all these fractions to get done, right? So for example, this 5 fourths is missing the x that these other ones have, right? But on the other hand, this denominator has a 3, but this one does not have a 3, and this one does not have a 3. So we're going to have to fix all that here. Okay, um, and then this denominator has a four, but this denominator is not of a four. So here's how we're going to fix it. We'll multiply this first one here by a four over four. So we'll have four over three x plus, and then for the five fourths, well again, it's missing the three and the x, so we'll multiply it by three x over three x. And then for the right-hand side of the equation, the x, it's missing the 4 and the 3. Okay, so we'll do 3 over x, and it'll multiply with 3 times 4 over 3 times 4, like that. Okay, and so now we combine, we get 16 over 12x plus 15x over 12x. So see, those common denominators are coming around now. Oops, and that's equal to... 3 times 3 is 9, times 4 is 36 over, and then 3 times 4 is 12, times x, so 12x. Okay, and again, we can now add these two fractions together because they have that common denominator. So I'm just going to do that here. So it'll be um, 16 plus 15x over 12x. And now we can eliminate that 12x by multiplying both sides by 12x. So cancel that and cancel that out. We have 16 plus 15x equals 36. And we'll just solve. Subtract 16 on both sides. You get 15x equals 20. Divide both sides by 15. And we get x is 4 thirds. And there's our answer. If we check it back up in here in the original equation, we can see, just with our eyes, that the only x value that would cause us problems here would be if x is 0. But x is 4 thirds, so we're good. It's going to be a good answer. All right, we'll stop there and we'll get into exercises uh, six and seven in the next video.